we already know there's been a water problem on this property. That doesn't make me afraid. Yeah. But it does make me look for things. Is this a sump pump back here? That's what I thought it was. You got to be kidding me. Ooh. Oh, my God. That means they got major water issues here if they're putting a sump pump outside. One of the cons of this house is the fact that it's got three sump pumps and it's still experiencing water issues. So they've worked extra hard to stop the water from coming in, telling me it's not only flooded once, twice, three times, possibly more. This could be an awful lot of money to fix. Every house tells a story. The biggest issue here would be the water infiltration that is getting into the basement. How's it getting in? What do we need to do to fix it? How much is that gonna cost? It's very clear that we have water problems in that basement, so we're gonna explore a few different areas to see if we can figure out how this water is getting in. All right, this was the area that the water kept coming in. Yes. What I would like to do is pull all the boards up. All right, we have a four inch PVC pipe here. I see a flex line down there. It looks like they're running the sump to this line. The sump pump's job is to collect groundwater and water from the weeping tile, and it's installed in the basement floor. Now, when the sump pump's full, it ejects it outside underneath the deck. So we want to make sure that connection underneath the deck is done properly. I have an idea. Okay. Let's run the hose into the sump pit and force the water to come out and see what it does. Fire it on! Fire it on! Oh, yeah, she's really going. How is it, Holmes? This thing is pouring water back towards the foundation. That's not a good sign. The sump pump isn't properly hooked up to the drain. It's a loose connection. The fact that this isn't properly done, the water's firing out from the sump pit and pooling in this area. I am sure that this flower bed is acting as a curb and holding the water in rather than letting it get out. So we're going to pull some front skirt boards and just look at the grating. Okay, it's higher at this end, which is holding back the water. They dammed it. The lowest point is right in the corner. So water's just gonna wanna drive and penetrate to the foundation nonstop, which goes to the sump pump, which in turn runs that sump pump nonstop. So we're gonna have to pull this deck up and regrade. Yeah. Now it's time to install the double sump pump in the basement. The way it will work is we dig the pit, line it with the gravel base, and insert the pump. If the pit starts to fill with water, a pressure sensor is activated on the sump pump that turns the pump on. The job of the pump is to move the water out of the pit through pipes that run away from the house to a lower grade area where the water can drain away from the foundation. There, there we go. So once the groundwater does come in, if there's a thaw, if there's a heavy rain, we're not going to have any more problems with water down here. Uh, the inspector did not give us a written report. He did a walkthrough and pointed out some of the minor problems, and he said there's really nothing to worry about. He pointed out that there was two sump pumps in the house. Uh, we couldn't really check to see if they were working, but he just pointed out that they were there. Your home is in a low-lying area, so water will always find its way to your house. We have, a, we have a sump pump, yes? Because yes. I noticed that we had a drain that went through the wall, and I can take it, it's in the front, approximately mid. And what does that tell you? We're below sewer grade. Uh, that's correct. Sump pumps are often used when a home is below the sewer line, and that's what's happening here. In this case, water drains into the pit from the washing machine, the sink, and the floor drain. And the pump then ejects it back up into the main stack where the drain runs into the sewer system. You have two pumps in your home, one here and the other one's at the front, and that one collects groundwater. This doesn't smell very good, by the way. You know, you're wondering, you walk through the basement and it smells a little bit of musty smell. Well, you got water sitting in the basement. If it's always gonna sit there, it's gonna smell like crap, and it's gonna emit. So, you know, we wanna see this a lot tighter, and it's not. We even see a surface mold buildup. Look at that right there within the well itself, which is not. Good. There's a lot of mold in this house. A lot of mold in this house. Hey, Damon. Uh, hey, bud. How you doing? Good. That is one heavy-duty sewage ejector. That is a bad boy. OK, where is it going, man? It's going in the corner. OK. Um, that entire corner needs to be excavated. 
Because what I have is uh, obviously my laundry tub yeah. is draining into it, my floor drain is draining into this, and those are plumbing fixtures that need to be discharged through a sanitary line. Right. So sewage ejector will solve that problem. So this is the only exposed part, is the top here? Yep, that's the only thing that we'll see at the end. Everything below is going to be buried in the ground, uh, right. covered with concrete. And you okay. can see a number of screws and, and how tight this entire unit is. So Obviously a seal on it yeah, and everything. everything, right? So it won't allow any gases to escape, right. but also moisture, right? That's fantastic. The pump itself is a sewage pump, so it's a lot more capable than a typical pump that's utilized for a storm system or just a regular water. The sewage pumps have greater horsepower output. They can actually uh, take debris break it down into smaller pieces and discharge it. So the new system, the new design that we're implementing, it's an airtight, watertight system that won't allow any moisture to escape. Bulletproof solution in my eyes, considering the circumstances. Go ahead. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> oh my God! Oh. Covered so Another slow. closed unit system and high end. This is what we want to see. You never want an open well of any sort inside your house. You can actually feel it in your house that the air quality is actually better in here. The pipe that gets the water out of the sump pump is underground and it's frozen. I had gone downstairs um, just to grab something and I heard loud crashes of water coming from our cold room. So when a sump pump was trying to pump the water out, it ended up just... It blew the joint. Mm -hmm. Blew it up and started shooting everywhere. There was water all over the cold room. There was water pouring into the basement. And, um, you know, had we seen that coming? Absolutely not. I'm really disappointed with the exhaust system from the sump pump that's in the cold room. If we take a look at this, here's where it exhausts out. The problem is, in the freezing winter, it'll freeze that line. It won't come out here, and it's going to break the line downstairs. It's going to try and discharge water, but it's frozen, so it won't. That's exactly what happened. It snapped right at the junction point, and then there was water downstairs. Mike has asked Martin to check out the old sump pump, and he's decided to replace it with a new, more powerful unit. Here we go. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Come over here. So what do you see here? The pipe is insulated. And the sump pump. And there's something down there. That's a battery backup. Okay. That will last two days. So now, in other words, you Ooh. lose electricity, and this thing wants to eject water. It no, will. Uh, no flood. No flood. Nice. Awesome. Yeah.